Thank you very much. It's great to be here. So I've come uh, all the way to ISC Frankfurt to talk about a brand new modern code community that we're announcing here this week. So 18 months ago, Intel uh, introduced a new initiative around code modernization, really focused at uh, parallel computing centers around the world. These are institutes and universities and labs that are really are working on the key codes that really could take advantage of a parallelism. So we partnered up with, uh, with these uh, uh, com parallel computing centers around the world, and today there are now over 50 of them in 16 different countries working on 80 different sets of code, making fantastic progress. And what I'm going to talk about today is how we're now expanding that code modernization effort and bringing it to more than just these computing, center, computing centers, but bringing it to developers around the world in a broad, scalable way. So every computer can have access to learn and take advantage of massive parallel programming skills, particularly in the HPC world. Uh, as, as you know, um, the hardware has advanced significantly, becoming massively parallel. But not often, not always is the software kept up with that. There's many examples now that we've found where if we can help the developers take advantage of this hardware, they can increase their performance significantly. Now this is not in just one area though. I wish it was in just hey, teaching them threading and we're good. But no, we found it's in many different areas, such as ve vectorization, of course threading, there's multi-nodes, clustering, and memory optimization techniques. You put all these together, we found that that's when uh, these codes really can get the most out of the, the, out of the hardware. And we've also found that from working directly with software vendors that when we take the effort to help them uh, understand where the hardware is headed and parallelize uh, their software, they seem extremely good benefits. For example, in this case, ANSYS. ANSYS uh, does uh, simulate engineering simulation software. And we worked with them over the last three years or so to help them parallelize, parallelize their software and prepare it for the hardware that's coming. Recently, when they, they moved to the next generation hardware, because they were ready, they saw a 3x improvement. So this is the kind of thing that we want to help a lot more developers take advantage of around, around, the, uh, around the world. So that's why we're introducing a new initiative and a new community focused on parallelism. It's called the Modern Code Community. It's really about taking advantage of today's hardware, maximize the software so it runs on today's and tomorrow's hardware. Um, first of all, this is going to be a broad-based community. We're expecting to reach 400,000 communities, or 400,000 developers around the world with this. So it's a, it's a community focus. That means there's no way we could touch each one of them directly. So it's through an online portal, through scalable methods, through uh, web-based content, training, BK, uh, uh, best practices, and training that's available there. Another way that we're scaling this uh, capability is through black belt software developers. You may not have heard about black belt software developers, but Intel has this program that's, that has 5,000 uh, members right now, and essentially what they do is they go up the ranks in, in colors of belts to reach the top, and that shows that they really have the best skills in the industry. And today we have around 5,000 uh, black belt participants, but only 60 have made it to the very top level. And so we're enrolling those top black belts to help us uh, train the industry, support the industry, and engage online and it, at industry and training events. Ah, the third, third interesting thing we're doing here is we got, want these developers to test their, their, um, their skills as they learn. And this is a contest that we're announcing today, which is really about um, parallelism, of course, and learning those skills, but also giving back to the community and helping to solve uh, some kind of uh, world challenge that exists out there. So we partnered with CERN and others to find challenges that would benefit the community and offering really fun prizes, for example, a trip to CERN and internships at CERN and uh, other partners that uh, we'll be announcing over the next month or two when this goes live, you'll find out all the details. Uh, next, we have uh, developer conferences. Last year we piloted the first conference and this year 
we are going to uh, do three more conferences and more coming. I'll talk about these more in a minute. And finally, training is a big element here. We've got to give, get more developers experience with the hardware, hands-on or remotely, so they can actually try it out. It's really critical. So let me talk a little bit more in detail of each of these. Uh, first of all, the community. So the, this is where we're, we're leveraging a lot of the, the work, the learnings, and the case studies, proof points that we got from the parallel computing centers, putting them online, putting them into training, helping developers understand how to get the most out of the tools, and doing this online. Much of this can be done online. Of course, we're talking about vectorization, about threading, about clusters, and uh, memory efficiency. And I mentioned we're going to tap experts. And these are experts not just at Intel, but in the industry. So that's, our, that's the first uh, component of this, is a community effort. Then I mentioned the, the Black Belt program. So the Black Belts, here's a, uh, just an example of some of the Black Belts located around the world, from Belgium, the US, Argentina, Israel, uh, they're guys that we've been working with for a number of years, and they've proven their skills in parallelism particularly. So they're going to be, they're going to be online, answering questions, uh, providing training material, and going out and engaging with developers at industry events. Uh, I mentioned the, the contest. So an element about the contest is there'll be two tracks, one for the novice or the student track, because uh, there's some basic things that they're going to have to learn and, and get some skills around. And then there's the professional, the more advanced ones. Each of those have a, an opportunity to test and, and uh, compete with other developers with those skills. And there'll be some pretty compelling prizes available. I mentioned CERN, but we got some other things coming that I can't say anything about yet, but we will over the next two months. So expect to uh, see information on the website about this contest. You can go there today just to sign up, give us your email, and then you'll be one of the first ones to find out when the contest goes live. So uh, for developer conferences, we, we got a conference here today, uh, but Intel's got a lot to talk about, and so we decided, hey, why don't we actually do our own conference? So last year we, uh, we piloted this along with uh, uh, the supercomputing conference, and found that developers are very interested. We had 500 developers attend last year's Intel conference, and we said, okay, this is going to work. So let's do a lot more of these. We're doing three more uh, this, this year. So in December, uh, first of all, we're going to be at the Austin Supercomputing Conference. We'll have our own uh, version the, a couple days there. And then we'll go to India and into China this year. And the beginning of next year, we're targeting Europe, and, and then a lot more countries next year, too. So, this is a way for us to share a lot more of those learnings. We're going to tap in experts from those computing centers. We'll be coming to share what they've learned and uh, answering developers' questions, doing training sessions, and so a lot of good hands-on with Intel technology as well. So, so training is such a, a key element here. We have two aspects to our training. One is face-to-face, -face, so developers actually can do hands-on with the hardware, be face-to-face -face with an uh, instructor. If they can dedicate three solid days to this training, then we have training sessions now set up around the world. You see all the partners down here. Each one of these partners is offering training in uh, areas such as the US, India, Korea, China, and Brazil. So we have partners already executing training, training thousands of developers, and now we're broadening that out and expect to overall hit 10,000 developers by the end of the year through our training methods. So that's the face-to-face. -face. But like I mentioned, not everybody can uh, to step out of work and spend uh, multiple days in training sessions. So we're also looking at how to do this remotely. So this month we kicked off a remote set of webinars. This is 15 modules really focused on, on these areas. Here you'll see on the slide. Um, what's, uh, what's unique about this, you know, it's parallel programming, you got to test out your skills. You can't just, it's not theoretical. So for these folks here, we have remote access systems dedicated for these classes. So after they take the on, online webinar and the live instructor-led training, then they will have 24-hour uh, access to a clustered system. 
so they actually test out what they just learned and try it. So um, if you folks are interested in this, go to our, uh, uh, our new Modern Code community and you'll see the whole schedule and what cities and countries they're located in. And I'll show you the URL for that in a minute. Tools, uh, of course, a, a fundamental aspect to parallel programming. If you really want to get the most out of it, you got to be using great tools. And Intel has, this is an area where we have some of the best tools in the industry. And uh, we also have some really good um, uh, programs for folks who are students, academic researchers, educators, or open source contributors. They get free access to these tools. And for uh, folks who are looking for access to both hardware and tools, there's a new program we just announced as well, which is uh, the Code Modernization Enablement Program. And there's two elements to this. One is discounts on the hardware. So uh, developers will get discounts to the Xeon Phi coprocessor, as well as significant discount, discounts to Parallel Studio uh, Cluster Edition. So, lots of opportunities for developers if they don't have access to the tools or hardware today to get that very easily.